There are forests all over the world, from tropical rainforests in the Amazon to boreal forests in the far north in places like Alaska, to temperate forests like the ones we have here in the UK. Now I'm really lucky. I've walked to this forest. It's near my house. But unfortunately, not everybody can do that. In some places, maybe like towns and cities, there's just not enough space for something like a forest to grow. So what if we could create a really, really small forest that would fit in a city? What if we could create a tiny forest? Well, luckily we already have. In Japan, Professor Miyawaki came up with an idea and together with the help of a man named Shubendu Sharma in India, they figured out how to grow miniature forests in cities. Now there are tiny forests in many countries all around the world, from Japan and India to the Netherlands, and even now in the UK. So what is a tiny forest? Well, as the name suggests, it's really tiny, actually only about the size of a tennis court. And this is great because it means it can fit almost anywhere and encourage nature in places like cities. Secondly, it's a forest, so there's lots of trees. When we plant a tiny forest, we plant almost 600 individuals of all different types and sizes of tree. Now over time, some of these may die, but also new ones will grow. It's a natural system and so it's constantly changing. And the final thing is a tiny forest grows really fast. When we plant the trees, they're only about a metre tall, but in the Netherlands, a tiny forest that was three years old, some of the trees were already over five metres tall. But how do you make a tiny forest? Well, there are some important and special steps that you need to take to make sure a tiny forest has the best chance to grow and survive. Firstly, we need to plan the tree species that we want to plant. We only plant native tree species, which means these are species that have been found in the UK since the glaciers from the last ice age melted. And we also choose species that are suitable for the soil conditions. So at the site where the tiny forest will be planted, we test the soil to see what characteristics it has, and then we can choose which native trees will grow best here. Then we can design the tiny forest. So even though it's the size of a tennis court, it can be whatever shape you like. It doesn't have to be a rectangle. So have a think what other things you might want in your tiny forest, maybe a pathway, maybe an outdoor classroom or somewhere to sit. Now that we've designed the tiny forest, we can start to prepare the soil. And this is a really important step in creating a tiny forest. What we have to do is dig down one meter deep into the soil and mix in some organic material. So this is things like straw or compost. And the idea is to make the soil as loose as possible so that it's easy for tree roots to grow. Also, to make sure that the soil can hold lots of water and nutrient. Again, to give the trees the best possible chance at growing and surviving. Now we are finally ready to start planting. As I said before, there are almost 600 trees in a tiny forest and we need to plant them in just one day. So that's quite a lot of work. So what we do is we get people from the local community to help us on planting day. Once the trees are in the ground, we then add a mulch layer. So that's a layer of straw or dried leaves to help protect the young trees. It stops weeds growing, keeps the soil underneath moist and protects the saplings from frost. And that's it. The forest is planted. After that, the forest will need a little bit of human help for the first two years. So getting rid of unwanted weeds and maybe watering the forest if it's really dry in the summer. But after that, we can just leave the forest and let it grow. As the tiny forest grows, like any other forest, it provides lots of benefits. For example, providing a home for lots of other animals. Just sat here, I can hear loads of different birds and I can see lots of flowers. I can see bluebells and wild garlic. Forests also help keep the temperature cool and they suck up water and help prevent flooding. They also help reduce pollution and provide a really nice, calm place for humans to enjoy. Here at Earthwatch, we have planted the UK's first tiny forest with the help of our friends IVN from the Netherlands. We planted the forest a couple of months ago in a town called Whitney and already it's doing really well and growing strong. 
So keep your eyes peeled because we plan to plant a lot more tiny forests all over the UK.